Hello, this is Simon with BBC News. We are in the studio with Picture Atlantic. Uh, fellas, do you want to introduce yourselves? <laughs> yes, I am <laughs> Alex from Picture Atlantic. I'm Ryan. Great guys, great. I'm eating some pizza, I hope you don't mind. No, that's, very, that's fine. So we have a couple questions from your, uh, your internet blog that people want to do, uh, you know, clear up. First question is from uh, Anonymous. Just wondering, how come Cersei is being re-recorded? Uh, well, the, uh, the reason that, one reason that Cersei is being re-recorded is uh, we recorded it with a different drummer at one point, and uh, our old drummer, John, and uh, we wanted to redo it for the sake of the album with the old drummer. Yeah, we wanted to um, make sure that since we're recording um, all these songs together in one session, and we wanted to get the same feel for the whole album. And uh, I think also we just wanted to try it, give it a new round and see if we could come up with anything interesting for it. Great, great, that's really interesting. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, this one is coming from a carry from Walnut Creek, California. What do you want to say with your new album? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Next question. This is from Carrie from uh, Redwood City. What would you say? <laughs> so I've heard I've heard rumors that you write your lyrics on a typewriter. What is that all about? And do you think you're better than everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why I do it. Um, no, actually, there is a really good excuse for that, and it's that. Um, I got a typewriter from a really good friend of mine, and uh, I think the whole, like, kind of having, like, a rhythm and clicking and just that I'm concentrating on something besides a computer uh, is, feels more like writing to me, I guess, uh, because it also, and also, um, I can have a hard copy of what I'm writing in front of me, but I assure all of you it has nothing to do with feeling better than anyone else or <laughs> wanting to look cool. I just really like it. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> so I've heard rumors of you guys uh, picking up a new drummer. Any, any word on that? And a B part to that question. I heard that he straightens his hair with a pink hair straightener. It is true that he does straighten his hair with a pink straightener. But that's purely for aesthetic reasons. So I have, uh, I've heard rumors that you have had a certain celebrity uh, guest performers on your album, uh, specifically that guy from Keen uh, playing keyboards. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, actually that is true. Um, the, the keyboard player of Keen it, did do some parts on our album. So this next question is directed towards Ryan, the bass player. Uh, I heard you are a fan of the Triple X movie. <laughs> I heard you are a big fan of a Triple X movie starring Vin Diesel. I was wondering what you thought of the sequel movie starring Ice Cube. If you maybe were disappointed or thought that his performance was better than Vin Diesel. So I have a question here from Scott of Sacramento. He says. I am worried that you guys might be changing your sound a lot and uh, compares it to how they changed uh, from the first Triple X movie starring Vin Diesel to the second movie starring Ice Cube. What do you have to say about that? Um, that's a very good question. Uh, we... Y yes, y I would say yes and no. Yes, we are changing our sound, but um, at the same time, I, f I think there are still aspects of it there that are definitely still us or are the same. Um, my only, the, the, yeah, the most I can say is don't be worried because, uh, you know, it's going to sound different and, and you shouldn't be, if you're disappointed with that, I can't, you know, I surely can't apologize for that, but if you... Um, you know, it's going to be different. So it, uh, that's just kind of where we went with our music. I don't really think it was forced. I don't think we said we have to change our sound. I think we wanted to, but at the same time, we also, uh, it kind of happened just along, try just with trying new things and new, mu new musical aspects of our music. And I think it just, it happened kind of automatically.
Yeah, I agree. Um, though I do see your concern, seeing as that I really thought that the first Triple X movie was a lot better than um, the second, so. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. So I have one more question for you now. Uh, it comes from a uh, Dimitri from Estovakia. He says, "I heard you guys aren't playing shows right now. Uh, would you be able to play my party mansion uh, coming up pretty soon?" Um, <laughs> we unfortunately we cannot play any party mansions as much as I would <laughs> love to play your party mansion, Dimitri. Uh, we can't play your party mansion because we aren't, um, we're going to be working on uh, kind of getting things geared up for, our re for the release of, of our album. So no, we won't be able to play, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, that's all the time we have. Thank you guys. And uh, Thank you. Thank you. is there any last word you'd like to say to all your fans out there? Um, I would say... Well, uh, I would say uh, thank you for supporting us, and thank you for those of you who are being slightly patient, and thank you for everybody who uh, is awaiting the release. Yeah, cool, thank you. <laughs> uh, I heard you are a big fan of Triple X movies. <laughs>